An update tonight on former acting New Bedford Fire Chief Paul Coderre fired yesterday over accusations he lied about work related injuries. Mayor John Mitchell says it was this surveillance video you see behind us that led a medical examiner to conclude Coderre was putting on an act. And we've learned the city isn't stopping with Coderre's termination. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones has an update and reaction. We've learned that the city has submitted a referral to the Bristol County District Attorney's Office for further legal action against Cordaire. We've also learned that he received $13,500 in accrued vacation time that is due to him pursuant to law. But that's on top of the over $200,000 he's received since being placed on medical leave. From August 2020 through December 2021, former acting New Bedford Fire Chief Paul Cordaire pocketed $208,574 untaxed while he says he was hurt on the job. Cordaire claims he sustained several workplace injuries in 2019, which is how he ended up on leave. But according to the city, this video taken during their investigation into Cordaire shows his alleged injuries didn't line up with him seen lifting a 176 pound grill from his pickup truck. These actions prompted Mayor John Mitchell to appoint a hearing officer to decide disciplinary action for Cordaire, which led to his termination Tuesday. We're with Channel 12, just hoping to get your side of the story. 12 News did try to get a comment from Cordaire at his home Tuesday night, but no one answered. In New Bedford, the fire chief and deputy chief are positions appointed based on merit and are Massachusetts civil service positions, so they aren't represented by the union. But New Bedford's Local 841 gives us this statement that reads in part, Local 841 condemns these actions if true, and we await to see further information for any further comment. Scott Kruger has been appointed as fire chief of the city. He has 31 years of experience with the New Bedford Fire Department and Mayor Mitchell says Chief Kruger exemplifies what it means to be a professional firefighter. His long record of service speaks for itself. Tomorrow morning, the New Bedford Retirement Board will be holding a hearing where they will review Cordaire's pending retirement application. I've also reached out to Cordaire's lawyer and his secretaries tell me that he's been tied up in a board meeting all day. In the control room, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.